Uh, without Hamilton, I don't think we would be able to accomplish much, as much as we accomplish now. And there's a saying, if I had 10,000 tongues, I couldn't say thank you enough. So thank you a million times. As Hamilton celebrates 30 years of serving homeless families in San Francisco, we reflect on our beginnings in a church basement back in 1985 and the thousands of stories of hope we've witnessed through the years. Here is just one. The vaccines and the antibiotics were the hardest part of this test. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. I teach high school. I, have, I own my own home. So in a few weeks, it will be two years that I, I have owned this lovely little place. But that wasn't always the case for Matt Rice and his severely autistic son, Blake. In 2001, Matt was hit with a series of events that would change his life dramatically. I was living in San Francisco, and, and so within three months, I lost my job as a network engineer. My partner and I broke up, and he asked us to leave the house, and, and my son was diagnosed with autism in three months. So we ended up without a place to go. It was a, it was a really tough time. I was just stuck in this place where I didn't have any money to pay someone to watch my kid so I could get a job, but I needed a job so I could pay someone to watch my kid. At the same time, my son was being diagnosed with autism. He was just, he cried seven or eight hours a day. Come on, let's go. It was a nightmare. After couch surfing with some friends and passing through shelters, Matt found out about Hamilton's transitional housing program and made it in. Determined to finish his college education, Matt qualified for financial aid and enrolled at San Francisco State University and eventually graduated getting his biology degree. A new life began for Matt and Blake, all while staying at Hamilton. When I first came in, it was just such a huge relief to have a place where I could close the door, do my homework, take care of my kid. I had my own bathroom and my own kitchen. And the staff was really supportive and they didn't know a lot about kids with autism then, but they were all totally supportive and willing to learn. And, and the Hamilton after school people were amazing. It was hard to get them to come home. For me, it was the beginning of a much better life. But I'm really thankful. Because Hamilton was there to help me pick up the pieces. And that made all the difference. Inspired by Matt and Blake's story, along with many others, and seeing a growing need in the community, Hamilton Family Center has expanded to four programs in two cities. But Hamilton's goal is not only to support families in need, but to end family homelessness in San Francisco permanently. And with years of innovative thinking and great community support, Hamilton is right on track to doing just that. This isn't just some pie in the sky thing that we're talking about. No, we actually are going to do this. The best thing that I think could happen is that our, our 60th year anniversary, we're closing the doors because we've solved the problem of family homelessness. And Hamilton is driving towards that goal of ending family homelessness in San Francisco.